Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali. In this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make an Italian chopino. Uh, chopino is really just a seafood soup, really. It's an Italian seafood soup and it's very simple and easy to make just like everything else I make because I don't have patience for anything that's difficult or tedious. Uh, it's a real classic, especially around this time of year. Christmas is right around the corner. If you know about Italian tradition, then you're well aware of the seafood feast that we have on Christmas Eve, also known as the the, the Feast of Seven Fishes. Uh, but what's really great about this recipe, uh, normally you're supposed to do seven different seafood dishes for Christmas Eve. Now if you want to make just one, make this and then just put a bunch of seafood in it. That's it. There you go. It's simple and easy. You can put anything, any kind of seafood you want. Uh, let's go over the ingredients to get started. You're going to need some chopped up garlic, parsley, celery, onion, some tomato puree, or you could use crushed tomatoes, any kind you want. You're going to need some fresh seafood. I'm using some mussels, some clams, some shrimp, some scallops, and of course you're going to need some uh, fish stock, white wine, pinch of hot pepper flakes, salt, pepper, extra virgin olive oil. Now for the fish stock, if you can't find it at your local grocery store, you can do what I do. I just take the peel, you know, the skin from the shrimp, that once I clean them, take the skin, put it in a little pan with some parsley, garlic, peppercorns, a little bit of salt, Bring that up to a boil, let it simmer for 10 minutes or so, drain it, and you have fish stock. Boom. So in this pan here, I have a soup pot with about two tablespoons of olive oil in there. And to that, I'm going to add in my onion, garlic, and even the parsley. I'm going to also finish the soup with some fresh parsley at the end, but I'm adding a little bit in the beginning just to get its flavor going. And I have this over medium-high heat. I'm going to let this cook for about five minutes. I'm going to season it with a bit of salt and pepper first though. I'm going to let this cook for three to five minutes or until the veggies start to cook down a bit. That looks great. So now I'm going to add in a pinch of hot pepper flakes. You can put as much or as little as you want. It's totally up to you how spicy you like your food. Let that cook for just a few seconds. And now we're going to go in with the white wine. If you don't drink white wine, you can't drink alcohol, you don't like alcohol, you don't have it on hand, just put a little bit more of the fish stock in there. That's all. I'm going to let that cook for one minute. That looks great. And now we're going to add in some tomato puree. You can use crushed tomatoes, you can use anything you want. And our fish stock. That looks great. Now I'm going to let this come up to a boil. This is at medium high come up to a boil and let it cook for about 10 minutes, between 5 to 10 minutes or until it's a like really, really rapid boil and then I'll show you the next step. My broth mixture has been cooking for about 10 minutes and now I'm going to add in the seafood. Now with your mussels and your clams, make sure separately that you soak them in cold water for about 15 minutes, change the water, do it again, scrub them really, really well with a scrubber or something. And then for the mussels, if they have a little beard, which is like a little piece of rope hanging on the side, you must pull that off. Very important. Now if your fresh mussels or clams, it goes for both, if they're open while they're fresh and not cooked, that means they're not good. When you cook them, if they remain closed, they're, they're not good. So, tip of the day. Now before I add the seafood, I want to season my broth mixture with a bit of salt and pepper. Always to taste, of course. And now to that, I'm going to add in my seafood. And also, just so you know, you can add any kind of seafood you like. So it does not have to be this particular kind. So there we go. Give this a big stir. And now I'm just going to cover this with a lid and let it cook for another five minutes or so or until the seafood is cooked and the shellfish is opened. It's been about five minutes. Oh yeah, that is just perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. The scallops are nice and firm, the shrimp are cooked, the clams and the mussels have opened. We're in business. This is what I'm talking about. I'm ready to dig right in. Before I do that, I'll just put some fresh parsley in, just to kind of brighten it up a bit. It's just time to ladle in. Look at that. Look at the color of that broth, huh? You can really smell the seafood and really, really important. I can't tell you how many times I have been asked this question. How do you know when seafood is fresh? If it smells like fish, 
it's not fresh. I know it sounds bizarre, but fish, when it's fresh, it should taste, well, it should smell like the sea. It should just smell fresh, like you're just standing on the boardwalk somewhere. That's what it should smell like. It should not smell fishy. If it smells fishy, give it back. Don't even go near that fish store. Go to another one. Look at that. That is just perfection. Serve it with some charred bread. I just want to dunk this into the broth. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. Oh, so good. So good. I'm going to give you a tip. If you don't finish all this tonight, you, maybe you will, maybe you won't. Mmm. Savoring it. What you want to do, you must have patience. You want to just remove the mussels from the shell and also the clam. Store it in your fridge. Everything in the fridge, right? And then the next day, when you want to reheat it, throw in a handful of rice and you have the most delicious, thick rice and seafood soup. Oh, I'm almost... Tiny, tiny bit of me is hoping that we don't finish this tonight so I can have leftovers to make my rice and seafood soup tomorrow. But I, know, I actually want a scallop. I love scallop. Scallops are so delicious. Mm. So good. It's easy. It's quick. It doesn't take a lot of ingredients and you can use any seafood you have on hand. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. To get this recipe and others, go to www.laurenandkitchen.com and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.